So there we have it. A stack of nice little plaque possibilities from the Magnuson Kids juniper tree, whatever this tree was, with the old swing on it. Oh yes, that swing needs to remain for as long as it takes until the children all come home. Well, I think we will do a quickie little demonstration here. If I can put a little glove on the hand, then we will grab the old saw and see if we can't just get one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, and we need to get a seventh. Oh, basketball court is still there. The Zellio flowers will soon be gone as we make the garden move here from around where that tree is behind the azaleas right there. Somebody's just making noise. From the azaleas and across here after we burn off all the old, old branches with all the trees. Plenty of extra firewood. Come right across here. There's the old shed and the fig tree. So there's a lot of briar bushes back in there with thorns that need to be cleaned up. But here we go. Time for sawzall action. The pole saw. Grab that bad boy with all those teeth. It's electric and it's lightweight, so it's good to go. Unamas dos tres. We make sure that this electrical cord is out of the way and underneath secure. We make sure that we're ready. Here, here we go. <laughs> Say your prayers. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh yes. Keep your fingers away, boys and girls. Them bad boy teeth. Ooh, if you touch those, could be painful. So there we go. Oh, let's grab that little plaque there. Ah, uh, we could put on there one that I've had since I was a little boy. I'm not sure I got it. It's actually a very dark piece of wood. I'll bet it's in that shed over there. It says John 14, and it says. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. Actually, no. I don't think that whole text is... <laughs> I think it's just in my father's house are many mansions. But it starts out wonderfully, wonderfully, because it says, well, the passage says... Let not your heart be troubled. So, don't let your heart be troubled. Hopefully, I can present this plaque to each of my children and my wife, who was here for some years. But 
Being the pyromaniac I am, I imagine that the flames will be leaping up toward heaven and hopefully will not be burning down the old house or the shed or the other big shed or the chicken coop to be and the gardening house to be. Look back here, how sad. All the thorns has grown up in time, but soon this shall be transformed. Isn't that wood beautiful? Amazing. Look at all those rings. How long was that thing alive? We'll have to count that up. Yep, indeed. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and stack up our seventh plaque of wood here. There it is. A pretty stackage. Let's go all the way around. Yes. God's words on wood. Amen. Praise God. Teach. Baptize. Make disciples. Baptize. Teach. Make disciples. Baptize. Teach. That's the Great Commission. Maybe I should put that one on the wood. Since very few people make disciples, they people just get saved and don't understand what Jesus taught us to do. As if Jesus taught us something different from what Paul taught. Paul taught something different from Jesus? No, 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 no. The words of Jesus Christ are the words of eternal life. So, anyway, there you have it. Jesus Christ made wood. He made the earth. And we will close with that. John 1. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made. And that was made. He made this here tree that the children were on the, jump, on the trampoline underneath years ago. And now we're cutting it all out and going to raise up new crops, put seed down in the ground, underneath, water it. Have a good night. Basketball! Let's play basketball! Yeah!